In this video, I'm going to talk to you about three main things. The first is to talk to you about PowerShell execution policies. Next is to show you how to code sign your PowerShell script. And the last thing to show you is what happens when somebody plays with that PowerShell script. Let's get started. So PowerShell execution policies. I'm sure by now you've all um, had to, to, to use them. However, let's go in a little deeper uh, into them. So currently I've got a script open and all I'm going to do is just run this script to see what the current execution policies are. And we can see that it fails right away. So I'm going to take that exact same command. I'm going to run it from the command prompt. And we can see that the execution po policies are undefined. This is the default uh, setting for a Windows um, machine. And what it effectively means is uh, undefined is that no scripts can run, but commands, uh, individual commands can be run. So, for the first part of this video, we're going to uh, set the policies to bypass and we'll um, get into code signing our script in a second. So just to prove that the, the policies are done, you can notice that it's now set to bypass. Throughout this uh, video, what you'll see is I will change the policies to um, different uh, options to show you what happens throughout the video. Now let's look at our PowerShell script. I've come up with a real simple one that says, hello world. This is the one that we're going to code sign. So if I go on to my next tab, you'll notice that I've set up the timestamp server. I've told it to go off and code sign the uh, uh, hello uh, PowerShell script. Uh, we've already got the certificate, which I had done, did in a previous video, and we're going to uh, code sign it. So really, there's not a lot to this. You literally just click run and we've gone off and code signed our script. From here, what we're going to see is, uh, I'm going to close this and reopen it. And you'll notice that there is a signature block on the, uh, the code signing script now. And I can run this again and it says, hello world. But there are a couple other things that I want to show you too. So if I, of course, it's open on the other screen. So let me just quickly open it up. So there's a couple of things I wanted to show you about the files themselves. Notice that the hello world is 12K versus the actual code signing uh, script uh, is only 1K. So if I show you the, the code signing one, typo and all in the name, you notice there's just the four tabs. There's nothing exciting in here. Um, but I'll put that off to the side. Versus if I take the hello world script, you'll notice suddenly that there is the digital signature on here. You can click on the signature, you can go details on it, and we can see that the signature is valid. We can actually see when uh, the timestamp was done on this uh, certificate. And we know that, that as of November 27th, at 4.08 p.m., this certificate was perfectly valid. We can go off and view the certificate if we were so inclined and um, see everything that we need to know about this certificate. So the great thing is, is that once you sign it, you know the details about it. So signing the this script is actually quite an easy process the biggest process about it is is getting your certificates uh issued so that you can turn around and sign it 
In the next section, I'll show you what happens when you play with this uh, script, edit it, um, and what PowerShell will do, uh, uh, will tell you about that. So we're back into PowerShell. Notice here's our uh, script. And if you remember right, we're still in bypass mode, but let's run this before changing this off to uh, restricted or to all, uh, all signed. So we're gonna run this. It ran just as we expected. But now let's take the same thing and we're just going to uncomment out this and run that, and yes, of course. And of course, now it says all signed. So let's run the hello world again. And of course, it still runs. But we've got our, our code signing uh, script, typo and all. Let's try to run this one and see what happens. We notice that we can't uh, run it again because it says that we have to have the signature on it. So what this is doing is that any PowerShell script that isn't signed will be prevented from uh, running. Now, what happens if somebody changes the script? So let's add in a hello world ask Garth. All right, so, you know, we didn't touch the, the signature block at all. All we did is add in a second line. Uh, we'll save that script and we'll run this script. So what we can see is because the, the script has been tampered with, the script has been blocked. Nothing can be run. So if we bring out that same line again and we go save, and return it back, it does run. So what we can see is, is that as soon as the script has changed, the script comes invalid, nobody can run the script, and therefore we know that um, the code signing effectively says that it hasn't been tampered with since the script was code signed. Now, what does that mean for you when you have a script and you need to uh, edit it? What it means is that you need to update that script, recode sign it again, and then re, uh, um, then you can use it as your heart's uh, content. Um, some of the things that you probably want to consider is parameterizing uh, items that you're passing into the script so that um, the code signing doesn't change and the parameters are um, used to, uh, instead of saying, hello world, we can say hi Garth or whatever at that point in time. But that's for uh, 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 the PowerShell experts of the world to, to show you how to uh, parameterize things. This is just for us in the uh, configuration manager world to code sign our, our scripts and get the most out of it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on YouTube and Twitter. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Talk to you later.